I recently posted a video about Vidar, which is a program that allows you to use your favorite text editor to bulk rename files, uh, but I thought I'd re-upload this video about using the rename commands. So uh, this is an old video, but still useful. I hope you enjoy, and I thank you for watching. Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at renaming files in Linux, or at least multiple files. Now, traditionally on Unix systems and Unix-like systems such as uh, Linux, uh, there is no rename command. And uh, I found that interesting when I, you know, over a decade ago switched from Windows to Linux. I was like, wait, there's no rename command? And the truth is, um, it's kind of not needed <laughs> because you just use a move command. So let me list out my files here. So for example, I have this uh, 1.jpg and if I wanted to move that, uh, rename it, I would just use the move command, MV, I would say move that file to, and I'll say 1.jpg like that. And basically I'm just moving that file to a new place, to the same place, but with a different name, and now it's been named that. And that is traditionally how you rename files, but it can be annoying to rename multiple files. For example, here I have all these .jpegs, which is actually how my uh, Canon camera, well, not this first part, but it, it gives them all the extension of capital P, uh, J-P-E-G, and I'd much rather just have the lowercase J-P-G. Um, but to rename all these, I would have to do like a for loop for I in all JPEG, something like that. And, and it's a big long thing where it loops through each one of them. But there are commands out there that you can install programs out there for renaming stuff. And there is one called rename. It is a Perl script um, and it is in the Debian repository. So if you're on a Debian based system, such as Ubuntu, Linux Mint, uh, probably MX Linux, or in my case, actual Debian, uh, you can just apt uh, sudo apt install rename. Uh, again, it's a Perl script. If you're on other systems such as Arch, I believe it's called, it's like uh, Perl rename uh, or something like that. Uh, but search search through your repositories for, um, and for uh, file, sorry, for a program called rename and it will probably say that it's a Perl. That way you know you're running the same one as me. But if you're on a Debian based system, you should be good just by doing sudo apt install rename and you should get this script that we're running. And if you use set it all for substitution, which is like the main thing I use said for, you should be very familiar with how this works. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so now that I have installed, I can type rename and then inside single quotations or apostrophes, I can do s forward slash forward slash forward slash uh, apostrophe and then give it the name type. So I'm going to say dot jpg, jpeg capital. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, for each of these files, find the match of jpeg, all capital, and make it jpg, lowercase. I'll run that. No output is good. You know, it's tradition that if everything goes good, you should run silently, only give output when there's an error. But if I list out my uh, files here, you can see that I just renamed all those to JPEG. If I want to go the other way, I can now just say, you know, find all files that are uh, JPEG extension and say JPEG. And if I list them out now, I have renamed them back. Uh, but it doesn't just have to be the extension, it's any match in that file name. So I could do something like this. I can say, okay, look at all files that have the extension um, PNG, and I'm going to change IMG to lowercase image. And now I have done that. So it's pretty basic and simple, straightforward. If you're familiar with that all, it's like, again, just like said works. So it's very useful for going through and renaming large number files. And again, I know it's not the only program. I've seen one before where it kind of opens up the file names in Vim. I think it was Luke Smith that was using this. And I don't remember the name of that program where you would go in and it would give you uh, basically a Vim file with all the file names. You can go inside and modify them. And then when you exit out, it renames all the files. That was pretty neat. I should look into that. Uh, but this is what I've used in the past, the rename command. Uh, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. As always, I hope that you have a great day.